All right, let's get started setting up a local development environment on Windows 10. We're going to be using AMPS. I've already downloaded the latest version 3.6 on my computer. Um, let's get started with the installation. So you can see this is for a lot of content management systems. It's for uh, WordPress that we are installing it at the moment. Um, this is what I'm interested in at the moment, but it can be used for a lot of other content management systems as well. I'm going to be installing this in my root instead of, instead of in the pro program files. Uh, the reason is making it easier to access basically. I already have an AMPS folder in here because I already did this installation before. I'm just doing it again for you guys. So yeah. Next. Install. So this is basically just going to copy all these files in and uh, do the whole installation for me. I'm just going to wait for it to get done. This done, we're going to launch AMPS. It's uh, telling me that it needs to install Visual Studio C++, which is what we need to do then, yeah. Alright, since uh, Visual C++ is done, um, uh, we are basically done with installation of AMPS. So if you want to test your AMPS installation, you just go to your browser and you can browse over to localhost to see if AMPS is working properly and it is. It's working pretty nicely. What you want to do is you want to secure your AMPS. I'm going to set up a password. Once you set up your password, it's going to take you into the cPanel for AMPS, which is something like you would see in a hosting account if you buy one. So for now, this is it. I'll show you how to install a WordPress website in the next video.